dear students welcome to my another session in the last class we discussed on gauss elimination method of solving system of linear equations in today's session i will be discussing on another method of solving system of linear equations which is basically extension of gauss elimination method namely gauss jordan method of solving system of linear equations before i take up gauss jordan method let me consider an example of gauss elimination method involving four unknowns so this is the example solve by gauss elimination method the system of equations involving four unknowns x y z and u okay so this is the given system of equations as a first step we shall first write down the augmented matrix of the given system of equations so the solution for the solution part let me write first the augmented matrix of the given system of equations the augmented matrix the augmented matrix of the given system of equations given system of equations is matrix a bar b is equal to 10 minus 7 3 5 6 10 minus 7 3 5 6 Minus six, eight minus one, eight minus one, minus four, five. Minus six, eight minus one, minus four, five. Three one four, three one four, eleven two. Five minus nine minus two four seven. So this is the augmented matrix. Let us reduce this to upper triangular system of equations <coughs> by making the entries below this leading element leading. Entry in the first row that is minus six, three, and five zero. So what are the operations, row operation that we can operate to make these elements minus six, three, and five zero? Okay. So let me uh, write the equivalent matrix. So this is equivalent. So R two will change. R two will change. R two will change. Subject the operation. R two. Now there is a minus sign already. So R two plus six divided by ten times R. Similarly, R three will change. Subject to plus both are plus sign. So the subtract this. Three divided by ten times r. Three divided by ten times r. Then r four will change. Subject to the operation, r four both are plus sign, so subtract five divided by ten times r. Five divided by ten times. So with this operation, we can make minus six, three, and five. So let us calculate this. So O one is being used, so no change. Ten minus seven, 
थ्री फाइव सिक्स लेट अस सिमाना प्लस दिस एलिमेंट का आर टू माइनस सिक्स प्लस सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय टेन इनटू आर वन करस्पॉन्डिंग एलिमेंट ऑफ आर वन इस टेन सो माइनस सिक्स प्लस सिक्स जीरो जीरो अब लुक एट द नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट ये प्लस सिक्स बाय टेन टाइम्स माइनस सेवन माइनस सेवन सो वी केयरफुली डू इट सो दिस विल बी थर्टी एट बाय टेन आर थ्री पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट एट सो दिस इज थ्री पॉइंट एट थ्री पॉइंट एट द नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट माइनस वन प्लस सिक्स बाय टेन करस्पॉन्डिंग एलिमेंट इज थ्री सो माइनस वन प्लस सिक्स बाय टेन इनटू थ्री वेल रिड्यूस टू यही बाय टेन आर पॉइंट एट सो दिस इज पॉइंट एट पॉइंट एट The next element minus four minus four plus six by ten corresponding element in R one is five. So if you simplify this, you get minus four plus six by ten times five will reduce to minus forty plus thirty by ten. So minus one. So this is minus. Then last element five plus six by ten corresponding element of R one that is six. So if you carefully do this, so this is fifty plus thirty six, eighty six by ten are eight point six. Eight point six. So this is eight point six. Then next element is minus nine 
minus 5 by 10 corresponding element is minus 7. So if you simplify this, if you simplify this, you get 50, minus 55 by 10 or minus 5.5. So this is minus 5. Okay. So next element is minus 2. So minus 5 by 10. Corresponding element is 3. So minus 2 minus 5 by 10 into 3 will give you minus 3.5. So minus 3.5. So this is minus 3.5. So then next element is 4 minus 5 by 10. Corresponding element of R1 is 5. This is 40 minus 45. 15 by 10 that is 1.5. 1.5. So this is 1.5. Then 7 minus 5 by 10 times corresponding element of R1 is 6. So this is 17 minus 30 that is 40 by 10 is 4. So this is 4. Okay, so now so this is the first period. Using 3.8, we shall make these two entries zero. Let us not worry about the remaining element. So we shall concentrate only on making this 3.1 and minus 5.5 zero. So this is with respect to this operation. R3 will change with respect to the operation. So both are plus, we subtract. So multiply this by 3.1 and divide by 3.8 and subtract this. So 3.1 divided by 3.8 times R2. Similarly, there is a negative side already. So R4 will change. R4 will change with respect to R4 plus 5.5 by 3.8 times R2 plus 5.5 divided by 3.8 times R2. So again, equivalent matrix. So if you carefully do the operations like the way I have explained in the previous case, reducing from here to here, you get the elements. So row 1 is not changed. Minus 7, 3, 5, 6. Row 2 is being used, so it will not change. 0, 3.8, point 8, minus 1, 8.6, 8.6. Then, oh, okay. Zero. So this will become zero. That is all. This has been setting. So I write the decimals. So this is two point four four seven three four four seven three. Then this element will become ten point three one five seven three one five. Seven. Then this is minus six, minus six point, minus six point eight one, eight one five seven. So I'm writing here eight one five seven. Then last row zero zero minus two point three four two one. 
minus 2.3 Four, two, one. 0 0.0526 0 0.0526 that is a 16.4470 second matrix Equivalent matrix with leading entry in the third row 2.4473. So, still it is not in the upper triangular system of system. So, I have to make this element to 0. This element to 0. So, using this element. So, this is equivalent to. So, this is. Equivalent to. Now I have to reduce this element to 0 using this element. So the operation is R4, R4 will change subject to because the design, difference in size, I will simply add 2.34 to 1, 2.34 to 1 divided by 2.4473 2.4473 times R2 R2 So we get the equivalent matrix I have right here equivalent matrix So no change in row 1, row 2, row 3 <coughs> 10 minus 7 3 5, 6, 6, 0, 3.8, 0, 3.8, 0, 0.8, minus 1, 8.6, 0. 0 2 point four four seven three four four seven three ten point three one five seven three one five seven minus six point eight one five seven eight one five seven then this row will change with respect to this operation zero 0, this is again 0, 9.9254, 9 9.9254, 9 9 involving four unknowns. So now the given system of equations now the given system of equations is equivalent to is equivalent to n x minus seven y plus three z plus five u is equal to six. Call this as equation one. Then three point eight y three point eight y plus point eight z minus u is equal to 8.6 2.4473 4, 4, 
सेवन थ्री जेड प्लस टेन पॉइंट थ्री वन फाइव सेवन थ्री वन फाइव सेवन यू इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्स पॉइंट एट वन फाइव सेवन एट वन फाइव सेवन देन नाइन पॉइंट नाइन टू फाइव फोर यू फाइव फोर इन यू इज इक्वल टू नाइन पॉइंट नाइन टू फोर फोर नाइन पॉइंट नाइन टू फोर फोर Call this as equation number two. Call this as equation number three. Call this as equation number four. Now solution by back substitution. Okay, so now solution. Solution. But back substitution. Solution by back substitution. So like this. So from four, you find the value of u. It is very simple. U is nine point nine two four five divided by nine point nine two four five four. Substitute the value of u here. You get the value of z. Then substitute the value of z and u. You get the value of y from equation two. Substitute the value of u, z, and y obtained from equation four, three, two respectively. In equation one, we get the value of x. So this, if we do it in order from four, from Equation four. It is very simple. U is nine point nine two four five divided by nine point nine two five four five four. So this will give you zero point nine 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 nine, approximately equal to one. Then from five as a three. From equation three, from equation three, z can be obtained using the value of u. So z is equal to from equation three. If you carefully do the manipulation, you get minus six point nine 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 seven. Approximately equal to seven. Then from two, from the equation number two, substitute the value of Elisa, obtain u and z. We can easily find y. So y is equal to three point nine nine nine. Three point nine. Nine, nine, nine. Approximately equal to four. Then from one, substituting the obtained value of u, z, and y in one, we can obtain x is equal to four point nine, nine, nine. So the values of x, y, z, u are x is 4.9998 and approximately equal to 5. Y is 3.9999 approximately equal to 4. Z is equal to minus 6.9997 approximately equal to minus 7. U is 0.9999 and approximately equal to. Okay. So with this, let me consider another method of solving. System of linear equation prescribed in your syllabus is Gauss-Jordan method. It is an extension of Gauss elimination method. 
wherein not only the values you know the diagonal elements are made zero the elements above the diagonal elements are also made zero in using row elementary transformations so thereby we reduce the given system of equations or the matrix to identity matrix from which the values of the unknowns can be easily obtained or just read from the matrix itself okay so this is the gauss jordan method
with hair. An identity matrix with hair. An identity identity matrix. So that we get an identity matrix. From which from which solution is derived without any further calculation. From which solution is obtained without further computation are easy without further computation. Okay. Then let us apply Gauss-Jordan method to solve a system of linear equations. Basically, this is an extension of Gauss elimination method where we perform operations to make zero below a leading entry in each row. So in this method, we also not only the elements below the leading entry, we make zero. And if there are elements above the leading entry, it, uh, <coughs> those elements are also made zero. So thereby, uh, we are getting an identity matrix from which the values of x, y, z or values of the unknowns are just can be read without any further computation. Okay. So let me take this example. Let me consider this example. Minus 1, minus 1, 
Okay. Let us reduce this coefficient matrix to identity matrix using a series of or a sequence of row elementary transformations. So let's using this leading entry in the first row, first column. Let me make these two elements of zero. This is quite little different between the uh, with respect to the Gauss elimination method. Initially, it will start like in the Gauss elimination method only. So now R2 will change subject to the operation R2. So I can simply subtract R2 minus R1. So R2 minus R1. So to make this entry 0, 3, I have to multiply R1 by 3 and then subtract. So R3 will change subject to the operation R3 minus 3 times R1. So I get equivalent matrix. So row 1 is not changed, minus 1, minus 5. So 1 minus 1, you can easily make this uh, simplification. 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 4, minus 3. Minus 1, plus 1, minus 5. Minus 1, plus 5, minus 7. Okay. Now, 3, minus 3, 0. Minus 1, minus 12 and minus 1 minus 3 to minus 12 so minus 13 then minus 1 plus 3 plus 2 then 4 4 plus 15 19 minus 13 to 19 okay further now <coughs> the difference what we can observe in the second step. So in the Gauss elimination method, we used to make the element below the leading entry in the second row, 0. In the gauss jordan method, not only this element is made 0, the element above the leading entry of the second row are also made 0. There is one element above the leading entry in the second row and one element below the leading entry of the second row. So these two elements have to make 0 using the same row elementary transformation. So now, my next course of action to make these two elements zero. I have to make 4 0 as well as minus 13 0 and is with respect to this operation. So this is equivalent to. Now, there is a change in R1. R1 will change with respect to this. So, R1 will change with respect to the operation R1 so plus plus 4 by 3 R2 4 divided by 3 R2 Then similarly this will change R3 will change with respect to the operation R3 uh, there is already minus sign, so I have to subtract minus uh, <coughs> R3 minus 13 by 3 times R2. 13 divided by 3 times R2. So this will give you another equivalent matrix. So with respect to this, so there is going to be a change here. So because this is 0, nothing will happen to the element in the R1, first row, first column, 1. Now this will change uh, R4, R1 is 4, plus 4 divided by 3, times corresponding R2 is minus 3. So minus 3, the 3, 3 will get cancelled, so 4 minus 4 is 0. So this element is 0. Now look at the next element, minus 5, plus 4 by 3 times corresponding that minus 1 R1 is minus 1 
minus 1 plus 4 by 5 4 by 3 4 by 3 times minus 5 minus 5 so this is minus 3 minus 3 minus 20 so minus 23 by so this is minus 23 by 3 so here we have minus 23 by 3 next we have minus 7 plus 4 by 3 corresponding minus 5 minus 5 plus 4 by 3 corresponding element of R2 is minus 7 is minus 7 so this will be minus 15 plus 20, minus 28 so minus 43 divided by 3 so this is minus 43 divided by 3 Now, let us look at the next operation. What happens to R3 now? Uh, so, row 2 is being used. So, no change here. 0, minus 3, minus 5. So, this is not changed. This is being used. The next is, so this is R3 because this is 0. This element will remain 0. Now, let us see what happens to this minus 13 with respect to this operation. So, R3 is minus 13 minus 13 divided by 3 into corresponding element in R2 minus 3. So, this is plus 13 minus 13. So, this is 0. Next, 2 minus 13 by 3 corresponding element in R2 is minus 5. So this will be 6 plus 65. So 71 by 3. 71 by 3. So this is 71 divided by 3. The next 19 minus 30 divided by 3 corresponding element is minus 7 minus 7 so this will give you 57 plus 91 148 divided by 3 so this is 148 divided by 3 ok so this is the second step in the third step, I have to consider this element and make the elements above this element 0. That is, minus 23 by 3 I have to make 0 and minus 5 I have to make 0 using 71 by 3 and forget about the other element. So, what is the operation for this? So, R1 should change third row. The second row, the third, third column, first row, third column, this should change. Second row, third column, this should change. So, one operation on uh, uh, R1 and one operation on R1. So, this is equivalent to, this is equivalent to. So, now I have to make this zero using this one. So, this is R1 plus R1 will change subject to the operation R1 plus 23 by 71 R2. Right? <coughs> 21. 71 by 3 divided by 23 by 3. So 3, 3 we get cancelled. So 23 divided by 71 R3. Then R2 will change.
5 divided by 71 by 3 times R3. That is 5 uh, R2 uh, plus uh, 5 divided by 71 by 3 means 15 by 15 by 71 times R3. 15 by 71 R3. Okay, so with respect to this, uh, there will be change in row 1, 1. This is because these two elements are 0. Nothing will happen. Now let us see what happens to this minus 23. Minus 23 by 3 R1 plus 23 by 71 into corresponding element R3. Uh, that is 71 by 3. So 23 by 3 with negative sign plus 23 by 3. So this is 0. So this element is 0. Now look at the last element. Minus 43 divided by 3 plus 23 by 71 into corresponding element 148 divided by 3. 148 divided by 3. So this is going to be, if you carefully do this simplification, if you carefully do the simplification, you get taking the LCM 71 into 3, and you get 351, 351 divided by 230. You get 351 by 230. So this is 351 divided by 230. 351 by 230. Okay. So now, next. Row 2. Okay. So this is 0, this is 0. So nothing will happen to these 3 elements, 2 elements. 0 minus 3. Now let's look at the minus 5. This element, I have to make this 0 with respect to this operation. Plus 50 by 71 into corresponding element in R3. That is 71 divided by 3. So this is 5. Minus 5 plus 5 is 0. Okay. The last one. Minus 7, this element minus 7 plus 15 by 71 corresponding element is 148 divided by 3. So if you carefully do this, taking LCM 71 into 3, you get 729, 729 divided by 230. So this is uh, 729 divided by 230. So row 3 is being used. So no change here. So this is 0, 0, 71 divided by 3, 149 divided by 3. So to make this identity, this is all right. First row, first column, 1. Second row, second column is minus 3. So divide by minus 3. That means you are dividing 729 by 230 by minus 3. Those will become negative. Then multiply row by 3 by 71 or divide this by 71 by 3, then this will become uh, 1 and there will be a change. So, that is the next operation. Uh, this is equivalent to R2 divided by minus 3, minus 3, one operation. R2 divided by minus 3. R minus 1 by 3 into R2 minus 3 then to make this 0 
थ्री बाय सेवेंटी वन टाइम्स आर थ्री थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय सेवेंटी वन टाइम्स आर थ्री सो यू गेट इक्वलेंट मैट्रिक्स वन वन जीरो जीरो अत दिस इज परफेक्ट एम आर में थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी वन डिवाइडेड बाय टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी So this is zero, one, zero. Now because of this negative sign, this will become negative. Dividing by three, so this will be two. problems on gauge order method few more in my next class thank you